My name is Lauren Krebs. I am a PhD candidate in the History Department here at the University of Florida. My dissertation is about youth culture in the Cuban Revolution during the years 1971 to 1989. So what brought me to the University of Florida for my doctoral study was really the Latin American and Caribbean collection and the resources that the UF libraries have to offer, both in terms of collections and in terms of staff assistance. So I first started working in the LACC during my master's program. The master's degree in Latin American studies always has a graduate assistantship that works at the LACC in circulation. And being chosen for that appointment quite literally was a life-changing experience because it was the first of many opportunities, including having the opportunity to work on the Cuba digitization project. So the UF Libraries is part of a larger partnership with other institutions in the US and in Cuba to preserve, digitize, and create open access to Cuban patrimony. And so I had the incredible opportunity to go down to Havana and digitize items at the Beth Salon Synagogue in Vedado and at the National Library of Cuba. As a student, the LACC is a central part of everything that I do because the collection is so extensive and I rely on all of the secondary materials that are in the stacks, as well as the primary source materials that are held in special collections and on microfilm here in the LACC. So I'm kind of of the opinion that you really have to be engaged with the libraries in order to really make the most out of an academic experience. And so as a TA, I've brought my students to the LACC and encouraged them to come here and engage with what's available because I really think that it makes for a well-rounded undergraduate experience. The, the importance of the LACC is wider than just our institution. It's one of the few dedicated libraries to Latin America in the country. And in that way, it's really truly unique. It's a resource not only for students at the university and scholars locally, but also academics and individuals from all over the world truly do come here and consult with our librarians from afar to utilize these resources. The Latin American and Caribbean collection is truly a special and unique place, and your support will help us continue the work that's done here.